Georgia College and State University reopens its dining hall after voluntarily closing it down Wednesday due to students getting sick. 41 NBC's Amber Lake spoke with public health officials about how this all happened. Amber. The North Central Health District and Baldwin County Health Department were notified of 13 students from GCSU who became ill with gastrointestinal illnesses. From the information collected, public health determined that Georgia College could reopen dining facilities and proceed with normal operations. Samples from the affected students are headed to the Georgia Public Health Lab for testing as the investigation continues. Michael Hawkinson with the North Central Health District has some tips for all employees who work in the food industry. In general, for food service, um, there are particular ways to handle food that food service workers should uh, make sure that they're notifying folks if they're sick and have their employers to tell them, hey, if you're sick, make sure you go home. Um, and of course, there are food service practices that um, every food service worker should know that our environmental health team can go in and train people how to properly handle food, how to handle dishes, and clean up certain areas. Students at GCSU are not worried about the dining hall in the future. They remain hopeful in the college to work everything out and trust the dining hall will be a safe and clean place to eat. I have, I have faith in the school because they were, they were definitely on top of it quick. Like as soon as it happened, they were sending emails out. It's kind of sketchy, but it's okay. Like it's not like the place is like bad necessarily. I think it's a lot better and a lot cleaner than uh, a bunch of other dining halls. The health district is asking anyone who goes to GCSU to fill out a survey, whether they were sick or not. The survey is to help investigator, investigators figure out the cause and try to provide proper treatment for those who got sick.